Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and today I want to take a look at an example from section 2.5. Uh, this is limits at infinity, and we're going to take a look at how we find the limit of a rational function when we let x approach infinity or negative infinity. And in this case, um, the example here, the x is approaching positive infinity, and notice something really important that the highest exponent on the top is equal to the highest exponent on the bottom. And we're going to really have three different cases. We're going to have where the exponent on the top is the highest, when the exponent on the bottom is the highest, or when they're equal like this problem is right here. And here is kind of a little rules guide. Uh, this is on page 97 in the book and it'll kind of tell you what to do in each one of those cases. So the first one is where the exponent on the top, that's where the m's up here, are smaller than on the bottom. Here's where they're equal. Here's where the top exponents are larger than the bottom exponents. Remember, we're talking about the highest exponent here. And then here we have another case when um, the bottom is only or the top is just one higher than the bottom. And we don't have a, an asymptote, a horizontal asymptote, but we do have what's called a slant asymptote. And they do an example of that, um, example four on page 97 as well. But let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, one way to solve this without using this. Um, so since, uh, since x is approaching infinity, obviously we're not gonna get a zero on the bottom because it's, we're talking about very large positive numbers. So one thing that I can do is I can divide both the top and the bottom by uh, x to the exponent, which is the largest in this entire rational function, which is 4 here. So if I divide everything by x to the 4th, and remember I'm choosing the largest exponent because I don't, when I... Um, when I test these individually for what they're doing, and I put infinity in there, um, I, I want them to either show a whole number, or uh, I want them to approach zero. And, and the way to do that is by dividing uh, with the largest exponent. And we'll see why in just a minute here. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity. And we're going to have 1 divided by x to the 4th plus uh, 7x divided by x to the 4th plus 6x divided by x to the 4th all over x to the 4th divided by x to the 4th. All right, now let's go ahead and simplify each one of these expressions. And I'm still going to have 1 over x to the 4th, plus, and we'll just have 7 over x cubed. Remember, when you divide uh, by two of the same bases, you just subtract the exponents. Um, oh, would that be, yep. And then we're going to plus, this will be, is that supposed to be a 6x? Oops, I forgot to write the 4th up there. So that's just going to be plus 6 all over 1. Now, um, because we did it that way, when we plug in the positive infinity, well, 1 over a number that's growing uh, large without bound, that's just going to be 0. So this is really just going to be 0 plus and 7 divided by a number that's getting bigger without bound is going to be another 0. You know, I have it on the uh, shape there. Let me turn that off. Plus, <clears throat> this is just staying 6 all over 1. And that's just going to be 6. And that's, that's the, the y value that this is approaching as x approaches infinity. And if we look over at our little rules here, let me, oh, it's not letting me expand those. Delete that. Delete copy it here. If I look uh, at my rules, 
you will see that uh, when they're equal like they are here, then the limit as x approaches either positive or negative infinity is just going to be the coefficient of the x with the highest exponent over the on the top with over the coefficient uh, of the x term with the highest with the highest exponent on the bottom and uh, that's also going to be your horizontal asymptote um, and let's see what that means that means if i look up here six is the coefficient in front of the uh, variable with the highest exponent on the top and one is the coefficient with the variable with the highest exponent on the bottom. So I could have just said, since these are equal, using that uh, little theorem 2.7, I could have said that the limit is going to be 6 over 1, because I can ignore these. And, uh, and that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks.